students going back to school mean the revival of school zone and with new blue line cameras snapping pictures of speeding cars in the area. There's been plenty of talks about what to do with the funds from those fines. KSLA News 12's Donna Kia is here in studio breaking down how the camera re revenues will be divided. In the discussions leading up to deciding how the camera fines will be spent, there were different variations of how the money would be allocated. So 40 for, law and, uh, for the uh, special revenue fund, which is for police and fire combined, 30% uh, is for the streets, 20% um, will be uh, for the, um, the uh, early childhood initiative, and then 10% will be for the financial empowerment. One councilman says just because these tickets are coming from cameras instead of police officers doesn't mean the money collected should be spent differently. If these tickets were given by a, a police officer, we wouldn't be having this conversation. Because it's given by an automatic ticket machine, now the money's up for grabs. Yeah. Um, I don't believe that this money that is collected through law enforcement needs to go to anything else other than public safety. Councilman Allen Jackson explained that some of the camera's revenues are going to causes that are proactive to preventing crime. We also are looking to address the, uh, the fire, the, the true problem of crime. And we believe financial literacy is a critical piece in that. And we also believe that ages of zero to three is a critical age. And so we want to make sure that everybody has affordable child care in order to get their kids into the learning environment as early as possible and allow them to be kindergarten ready. An alternative amendment to this legislation had a different breakdown of what organizations would receive money from these camera fines, but ultimately was voted down. Live in the studio, Donna Kia, KSLA News 12.